Hello and welcome to another episode in our series on getting started with the client libraries for the Google Ads API. I'm Mattia Tomazone, a developer relations engineer working on the Google Ads API. And today we will talk about the last credential that we need, the refresh token. As we mentioned in the previous video, each request for the Google Ads API requires an access token, which is created using two ingredients, the client ID and client secret pair, which we created in a previous video, and the refresh token. A refresh token is a long-lived credential that identifies an end user of your application. The fact that it's long-lived means that you only need to generate one the first time a user grants your application access to the Google Ads API, and then you can store it for future operations to be performed on your user's behalf. Once you have your client ID and client secret pair and a refresh token, you don't need to worry about creating a new access token for every Google Ads API request. The client library will take care of this, and we will see how to configure it to do so in one of the next videos. There are also a few different ways to generate a refresh token. You can do it programmatically, which is what you will want to do in your application, and we have a code example that shows how to do so. I will leave you a link to it in the video description below. In this video, though, we will be using a standalone application called OAuth Tool. It's a very handy tool that you can use for interacting with Google API authentication from the command line, and it's helpful during development and testing or for one-shot activities such as trying out the flow to obtain the refresh token as we're doing today. I will leave you a link to the application website in the video description below. First of all, note that I have a credential.json file in my getting started Java directory that contains my client ID and my client secret that we created in the previous video. This is the JSON file that I downloaded from the Google Cloud Console. To fetch a refresh token, I need to call OAuth tool with the fetch command. The first argument it requires is the credentials file. Then I need to specify the OAuth scopes I want to authorize the token for, just as I did in the previous video when configuring the consent screen. Here I'll be using AdWords, which is the scope required to access the Google Ads API. And finally, I need to tell OAuth tool that I want to obtain a refresh token as its output. Now OAuth2 will generate the URL I need to go to to authorize my application, identified by my client ID and my client secret, to access my Google Ads account. So I can open it, and it will show all my logged in Google accounts, so that I can choose the one that I want to use to access my application. You can see its name, Getting Started Ads API, shown here. Note that if I didn't have a Google account already logged in in my browser, I would have had to enter my Google username and access my account. Once I've selected an account, the consent screen is shown to me so that I can review the scopes the application wants access to and decide whether or not I want to allow it to access my account. By clicking Allow at the bottom right, I am allowing the application to manage my Google Ads campaigns. I can now close my browser window and go back to the terminal where I was using OAuth tool and notice that it has logged the JSON object, containing the client ID and the client secret that I used to identify my application the authorization URL that I opened in my browser, and the refresh token. This is the string that I need to save to authenticate the Google account I just used to my application, so that my application can access the Google Ads account through the Google Ads API. There's a caveat, though. The Google account I just used to allow the Getting Started Ads API application to access my Google Ads account needs to have access to the Google Ads account. So make sure that your users are accessing your application with a Google account that has access to the Google Ads account that they want to manage. That's it for this episode of our series. We have obtained a refresh token, which identifies a Google Ads user for your application, and which was the last credential we needed. In the next episodes, we will see how to put together your application and all the credentials we obtained to make sure your application can access the Google Ads API. I'll see you in the next video then.